right, so we have two of our hieroglyphic contest winners here, um, and they've already been through the exhibit for the most part. Can you tell us a little bit about what you thought about the exhibit? We've been lucky enough to see things at the Smithsonian uh, tour that came through the uh, Denver Nature and Science Museum. We've been to the Royal Ontario Museum. This is, we're so lucky to have this come to us. It's a, amazing. Amazing what I can't you've believe, been able to bring in. And I can't believe how hands-on some of the activities are. Um, when I was reading about this on the internet, I had no idea just what amazing things were going to be brought in. Um, the fact that you can put pottery together and build your own little pyramid is just amazing. And what a gift this will be for um, the youth in Iowa to come and see and, and get to learn. The teacher doesn't bring her students. It, it, it's shameful. Uh, what were a couple of the elements that really stood out to you in the exhibit? I liked the. It seems to be um, built for different various age groups. You can bring small children here. Here, um, people of all ages will be able to enjoy. I liked the questions on the murals to ask to look. It made you look to find the things and. We don't take time to do that, so then you just kind of walk through those things. But yeah, and looking at the X-rays of the mummies was really cool because I don't think you really you fathom really what a mummy looks like. We see the dressing on the outside. We've all seen what um, King Tut's um, sarcophagus look like, but you don't really understand that like, there was actually a living being in there. And so getting to look at like the X-rays of the animals. Was really cool um, and not at all creepy. Like <laughs> I thought it was gonna be uh, just really, really informative. And what about Annie? What do you think of uh, that whole oh the tomb? Gosh, the, the, anytime you can see a mummy, how lucky we are to have that to come to us. I mean, we've always had to travel to see these things, and now here in our own backyard, we get to enjoy uh, a similar quality exhibit that we've gone to the Smithsonian or the Royal Ontario Museum to see. Uh, and again, like it's just incredible, like the care that someone took um, just to preserve uh, a loved one, um, and that's something that I think we could all hope that our families would do for us, um, and to just see that it's lasted for how many thousands of years is just incredible. Yeah. Um, now I think you've kind of answered this already, but would you recommend that people come see the exhibit? Oh, I would. <laughs> I would highly recommend, especially teachers, bring your classrooms missing an opportunity that you're not going to get. I'm already thinking about when we can come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Oh, you're